another big part of our company was in Las Vegas last night and uh, celebrated her very first PWBA win. And it was a major, which you know something about having 15 majors. Yeah, how bloody exciting. Uh, I was here. I was actually at HQ in the training center uh, working on some stuff. We had the, the big screen, watching watching the bowling. Um, and it was it was kind of like one of those, you could, you could almost see it written in the stars, <laughs> almost. She makes this 2-4-8-10 yes. uh, in the third frame. Like, you know, she opens there and you just don't know how she's going to throw it the next time she gets on that lane. And then you think, oh, wow, she's got the look. Uh, Maria started to struggle a little bit. You're like, all right, let's just get another one. Big four pops up. You're like, no, no. And then coming all the way down the stretch, it was just this match that went like this and you really didn't know how it was going to end uh, until the last ball was thrown. And obviously you could see the excitement uh, and the emotion on Lindsay's face. Congratulations, Lindsay. Oh, uh, so and, Hank, and Hank, because you know, obviously he has a big part in helping her while she's bowling. And yeah, it was one of those moments where you just felt like everyone here at HQ was kind of throwing that ball with Lindsay um, and then just fingers crossed and waiting for that last shot. Yeah, it was fantastic. And you know what's awesome? And, you know, not everyone's going to be the greatest of all time. Now, Lindsay has a lot of time left in her career to win many more majors, which I think she will do, and many more tournaments. But what I just know, this is a person that has worked so hard uh, for so many years and to realize a dream. And now to know that the dream can continue forward with kind of that I don't know if you have believe in that whole monkey on your back or whatever that's called, but she's led some tournaments, hasn't won yet. And then to have Hank there and Hank was there for the whole week and, and just by her side is a great family win. And, and I remember you having your family in Las Vegas when you won a major, isn't it just more special when you could celebrate with your, the closest people to you? Yeah, I, I was um, probably the most emotional for me internally when I won in front of in front of my children and in front of Kimberly because normally it's a, it's a phone call um, where you're like whether it's good or bad it's a phone call um, but to be able to throw that final delivery turn around and give the ones that you love most um, a big hug and a kiss it's huge it just it feels very very different um, in terms of your your comment about the the monkey on your back I think it definitely does get there's a, there's a point of which it gets harder to win when you've gotten to a certain point in, in, in the tournament, the show or the seeding or whatever it is, and, and you haven't won. Um, but I think the thing that's really important for everybody to kind of take away from Lindsay's win is your time will come when your time comes. And I love you, that. you have to be patient. You have to believe uh, in the journey that you're on. You have to believe that you're doing everything you can uh, to better yourself. So when you do get in those moments, you give yourself a better chance. But, you know, Lindsay, um, like you said, it, this wasn't her first show. This wasn't her first opportunity as a top seed. And yet I think looking back at all of those losses, maybe it helped her win the major. And that's how, I, how I've always seen my losses, is it, it stings, man, you hate them. Yeah. But then when you win the next time, you kind of reflect on and go, wow, you know, that moment where you didn't take as much time as you wanted and you lost, well, you did it this time. Because of that crappy situation, you actually bettered yourself from it. And so now, you know, Lindsay, like you said, she, it's, she's been bowling on tour since, I think, what, the beginning of the PWBA um, yeah. revival. So it's been a, it's been a while. But I'll tell you right now, when she wakes up this morning, because I'm pretty sure she's still sleeping after a yep. celebration last 8, 8 night. 8 a.m. in Las Vegas, yeah. I'm <laughs> pretty sure she's still sleeping. But when she wakes up, she's going to be like, it was worth it. Everything that I've ever done, the time that it took, this was my moment, and it's worth it. And that's what I want everyone to kind of think about. 